An impossible retake by any standard. The Vice will take down Buster, leaving a trend in a one versus four. And ladies and gentlemen, they've done it for the fourth time. A strong thrill, the major in Berlin. The fourth time overall, three total in a row. They have just re-established dominance. Forget the hiccup that was Team Liquid. Astralis seems back in a big way. This playoff run is historic, and there are some of the fans that have followed them around the world. What a statement from Astralis. How great you see in this year, buddy, as the fans up on the stage. I'm guessing family somewhere. I can hardly believe it. 16 to 5, 16 to 6 on the first map. One of the most dominant grand final victories we've ever seen in a major. And I guess it's no surprise that it's Estrada's picking it up. I don't think it can't be after you saw them in the quarterfinals. Taking out the semifinals as well here into the grand finals. They have been absolutely dominant. And they finally looked it. We wanted attitude out of this Estrada's team when they were so dominant last year. Yes. And we've seen them now start to have that, start to take umbrage at some of the interviews being given, start to get pissed off when they are doubted. And this is the result of that. Making the rounds in front of the crowd here at the Mercedes-Benz Arena. Astralis looking like an indestructible team. I don't know what the next season of this will bring, but it's very hard to imagine what it will take to bring them down having a great time with the fans who follow them. It seems everywhere around the world, a great portion of them. What a team this is and what a legendary lineup. Ladies and gentlemen, give it up once again for your champions, Astralis! You've done it now in Berlin. Talk to me about the feels. Talk to me about what it feels like to be Astralis. It feels great, man. I have no words to run. It's just like you never expected us to win here because we haven't won in a long time now. So coming to this major, we're just so surprised that we suddenly start to play so well. So uh, yeah, really happy. Oh, really happy indeed. The smile over there makes me want to smile a whole lot which is, it's contagious. I feel like there are so many smiling Danes out there. You've made family proud, you've made fans proud, and now the moment has come where you lift the trophy. Talk to me about what the naysayers would say. The ones that doubted you, what do you say about them? The people that have doubted you. 
Uh, yeah, there's a lot of people that have been doubting us. Uh, yeah, that's perfect. Uh, when we are down, we are down, but we will always climb our way back up. This time around, we want to stay for as long as possible. We want to keep winning. We're doing everything we can to stay on top. We'll climb our way back. We'll take that number one spot again. And uh, yeah, it will happen soon. It will happen soon. It's a climb. It's gradual, but they're on their way. I want you to speak to the Danes back home in Danish. Yeah, we got you. Tusen tak. Tusen tak til alle sammen derude. I er fucking nice. Og jeg håber, I kommer til at se os igen. Jeg elsker jer alle sammen. And all the other people in the arena, I love you all. And I'm so happy that you all cheered for us. Give a big hand for the best teammates ever. Thank you. I, got a couple more. I have a couple more surprises for you guys. I want to invite the founder and CEO of Astralis up on the stage. Nikolai Nyholm is in the house. Let's bring him out. Astralis, they have solidified, they have cemented their era. Nikolai, will you please come to me? Hold on, we got to get our hugs out of the way. You guys understand. It's an emotional thing. I want a few words with you. Is that okay, Nikolai? Absolutely, absolutely. This, but this is this is the day of these these five amazing players. They're absolutely fucking amazing. Coach Danny and the entire performance team that's behind them. All of them in Copenhagen, they're here, they're cheering for them, and then all of the fucking fans in the arena, on stream. On stream, you got them at home? There's a ton of Danes right over there, I know they've been going rowdy. They've rushed the stage, they've taken their shirts off, they've done just about every rule-breaking thing that you can think of right now. But I'm gonna have to ask you guys to come on down for a group photo, grab your trophy, and let's take some pictures. In the meantime, while well, this is all happening, it's a very special day for a couple different reasons. Not only do we crown the major champion for the 15th ever CSGO Major, we got a birthday boy in the house. His name is Device, so sing with me, ladies and gentlemen. Happy birthday to you. Wow, underestimated, but never overcome. The best to ever do it. Four majors in total, three in a row, the first to do that. A quiet start to the year, but a loud statement to every Counter-Strike team in the scene. The Great Danes, eternally ferocious, relentlessly innovating. Berlin, one more time, you're starting at a major champions! Astronis! For three grand finals, 41 rounds. They have devastated everybody. Yeah, it didn't look like Avangar had a chance today. Astralis, this is old school vintage Astralis here. They came back. They're here to stay. Three majors in a row. Cliche from Rocky, it's not about how you get knocked down, it's how you keep getting back up, and they do. Yes, to me, that's the storyline. It's not that. It's the greatest team ever, and they're just continuing on. They had the hard period. They had the period where someone took it from them, where they weren't winning any tournaments whatsoever. This actually reminds me of when Fnatic came back to win Cologne in 20